I'm John Haas. With a background in sustainability and a passion for fishing, I travel the world to showcase the good, bad, and ugly around sustainable fisheries. Haas Off The Grid uses the excitement, adventure, and direct connection to nature inherent to the sport of fishing to show the need for stewardship. I go off the grid to show some of the world's greatest fish and fisheries, creating awareness about the threats to their status and promoting a conservation ethic. We have too much power over what lives and dies on this planet to not care and take ownership. Together, we can make a difference. On this episode, we're headed to the remote corners of Canada's New Brunswick Territory for wild Atlantic salmon. After deplaning in Quebec, we headed out to the remote waters of the Kedgwick River, a tributary of the famous Restigouche watershed, with a rich regional history of fly fishing for these fish dating back to the British royal family fishing in the 18th century. Atlantic salmon used to be present in all North American Atlantic draining rivers on the northern east coast, but today, all of the United States rivers from the Hudson to the Penobscot are barren of this noble fish, leaving us only with limited access to them in Canada and Nova Scotia. With increased pressure from international commercial fishing, pollution, habitat loss, and climate change, let's take a look at how private access licensing to lodges, coupled with limited government open water access, has preserved the last remaining wild runs of this iconic fish. Hey, it's Haas. I'm on the Kedgwick River, New Brunswick. I got Jerry Fougere here from Kedgwick Salmon Club, and we're gonna do a little lag salmon fishing. So Jerry, what can we expect today? Well, we're gonna try this hole and see if we can't get you a nice salmon. All right, we're, we're throwing floating lines, and we're throwing the streamer. It's an interesting streamer pattern. What's the name of this pattern? It's a uh, black bear green butt. Black bear green butt. It's really similar to a steelhead pattern that we throw back at home, called a green butt skunk. But it's similar, dark wing, dark profile, a little green. Yes, and then go for it, so. Awesome. Well, let's go give it a shot, see if we get lucky. Okay, let's All right, go. Let's do it. Haul the canoe down a little further. There's one, there's one. Right on. Oh, that's a good fish. On the nine weight, I can feel him. In this little shallow water, it's amazing. Atlantic salmon time. There he is. Ah, oh, good strong fish. Does not want to come back. I'm way into my back. And I was planted here fighting this fish in this pool. I'm just hoping there's nothing in there to get me. It's a beautiful fish. Oh, I think he might be fouled. I think that's that fly in his back. Now the camp rules, I touch the leader to fish counts. That's a top fish. Hang on that rod. I got the rod. I'll go to the line if you need to. They're deceiving, seeing them in the water, yeah. you pick them up. Well, it's hard for me to tell, it's my first one, so. <laughs> he looks big to me, he's strong. You guys at home can't be enjoying this as much as I am because this is awesome. Come on, fish. It's a big enough fish that... I caught bigger ones this year didn't fight like that. They never fished with me before. <laughs> he's on camera. Yeah, he's on camera. A it's a performance of a lifetime. Woo, come on, fish. Well, <sighs> she can't keep doing this. She's got to be getting tired by now. They're gonna write to you. Corner of the mouth, perfect hookup. Beautiful fish. Oh my god, look at the size of that fish. Okay. Let me get it. Let me get it. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gerber. Good job. Uh... That hookup. Blown to that fish. <laughs> this beautiful fish. Atlantic salmon. Looks like it's a hen, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? You ready, girl? I'm loving there she goes, she's swimming. See ya. Thank you, fish. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> New Brunswick, Atlanta well, Salmon. 20 minute fight. Thank you, sir. Well, awesome. Sweet. Hots off the grid. We'll be back right after the break. 
coming up, we'll take a deeper look at the amazing fishing action available at the Kedgewick Salmon Club. We'll also take a stroll around old Quebec City, taking in the sights and sounds of this old French colonial city, and talk to folks fighting to protect and preserve this iconic fish and reintroduce Atlantic salmon back into U.S. waters. So stick around, we're gonna have a blast. Hey, it's Haas. I'm in New Brunswick. We're at the Kedgewick Salmon Club on the Kedgewick River. We're about 100 miles up from the uh, Atlantic Ocean looking for one of my bucket list fish, Atlantic salmon. So it's wild Atlantic salmon over 100 miles up from the ocean. And I've got Matthew, our guide, and Ron, one of the other guests from the lodge. And we're gonna start fishing this river. It's fly fishing only for this 21 mile stretch that the uh, lodge has the rights to. And it's catch and release only. So Matthew, what do we have in store for us today? Well, we're gonna be fishing about, uh, I'd say 10 to 12 pools. Uh, we've got seven miles from the first pool down to our last pool. And uh, we're looking at uh, about four or five hours of fishing today, so. Awesome. So we do it in beach, right? You guys break up the river. That's right, yeah, we got, uh, the river's broken up into uh, five or six beats, I believe. And uh, every sport and every guide has a section they fish, and uh, that's how we do it. Yeah, so you'll see different guides as we go through the trip, because we'll be right. hitting different beats. But uh, cross your fingers, get an Atlantic salmon on a fly. Can't wait, Hoss off the grid coming up. It's a nice deep hole right behind that rock. It dumps in, I'm trying to just work that seam line, find a fish. You can definitely pick it out where they're gonna sit. It's gonna be where this foam, the foam cruises down in the, the seam line makes it pretty well defined. Got a fish. Fish on down there. How's that feel, Ron? Feels nice. Feels good. Oh, baby. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. That fish is in the teens for sure. Yep. Nice fish. Comes. Got him. All right, Ron. Good job, bud. What's the length on that? 32 inch. 32? Pretty fish. That's a beautiful fish. It's pretty, it's pretty deep in there. You want a pair of pliers? I got a pair of pliers. Some Gerbers. Good job. You got pretty nice to do All right. Gerber tools always come in handy on the water, that's for sure. All right, Ron. Go fish. Nice Atlantic salmon on the Kedgewick. Buddy Ron hooked him up. Look at how pristine this fish is. A hen, looks like a hen. Just a beautiful fish. Let's let that fish recover and go. How many of those have you caught, Ron? Not enough? Not enough here. <laughs> yeah, they're hard to come by. We've been working, you know, that's our second spot, and that was the first bite. Oh, yeah, this is, I mean, I've been here a couple of times where you see them, but they're just not biting. Yeah. Other times you might get two or three. You know, it's, it's great, the club, you know, it's mandatory to catch and release these fish. This is the last stronghold of these fish on, the, on this New Brunswick province, really. It's a beautiful animal. There she is. Beautiful fish. fish. Thank you, sir. I figured out they have two hands. Three hands, four. Yeah. Hands. That was a nice way to break the ice. Kedgewick, Atlantic salmon, toss off the grid. We'll be right back. Coming up, we're still on the hunt for more Kedgewick native Atlantic salmon. We'll take a look at the lodge facilities and talk to some of the folks about the fight to protect these incredible fish. More hoss off the grid coming up after the break. Alright, 
We got a nice little hole here. Good run. And they're telling me that the fish are gonna hold in this. There's a big rock just submerged. They're gonna be fishing. The fish are gonna hold right in front of that rock on the other side of the rock. So go down and see what we got. I can see a fish right there of some kind. One. There's one. All right. There's a fish right there. Sweet. Good call. Good call. Coming right to me. He's not a giant. Or at least he doesn't. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Coming right in the shallows, right towards me. Come here, fish. Get me out of the rod, guys. We're gonna bring him in right away. He's pretty, oh, there he goes. Now he's figured it out. Okay. Just keep, you touch that line just in case. No. He rubbed me against the bottom. He's caught. <sighs> Strong fish, these things are, these fish are beautiful. Fresh in from the ocean. Uh oh. He's rubbing me out of the rocks. I'm trying to get this hook out. Oh, it came off. Get him out. Oh, yeah. Woo hoo. Beautiful. He was rubbing me on those rocks, and it sure paid off because he broke off this fly. No, I got the fly. But he got it. Got the fly out. Good job, man. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh wow! Just another example of a beautiful Kedgewick River Atlantic salmon. Beautiful fish. This fish. You got that? Yeah. Digging that. Oh, nice job. That fish was in great shape. Obviously, couldn't hold on to him. Kedgewick, Atlantic Salmon. You get a chance to do this, you gotta do it. Hoss off the grid, we're gonna be right back. Quebec City is the capital of the Canadian province of Quebec and was our landing pad as we prepped to head into the wilderness of New Brunswick. The city has a population of about a million people in the metro area, making it the second largest city in Quebec after Montreal. The Algonquin people had originally named it Quebec, meaning the river narrows, because the St. Lawrence River narrows here. Explorer Samuel de Champlain founded a French settlement here in 1608 and adopted the Algonquin name. Quebec City is one of the oldest European cities in North America. The ramparts surrounding Old Quebec are the only fortified city walls remaining north of Mexico. This area was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985 as the historic district of Old Quebec. Quebec City was captured by the British in 1759 and held until the end of the war in 1763. The food and sites are outstanding, and even though it was in British control, you can still get a flavor of colonial France as you tour the area. Coming up, we're still looking for that fish of a lifetime, a giant native Atlantic salmon. We'll talk to the folks at the Atlantic Salmon Federation about the fight to keep these incredible runs of fish intact. And of course, you never know what could happen. So stick around. More Haas off the grid coming up after the break. This Eco Moment is brought to you by the Atlantic Salmon Federation. To give us the scoop on the status of Atlantic Salmon, I've asked Bill Taylor of the Atlantic Salmon Federation to give us an update. The Atlantic Salmon Federation, there's an Atlantic Salmon Federation Canada, an Atlantic Salmon Federation United States, and the, the mission of the organization is to conserve and restore wild Atlantic salmon in the rivers and oceans where they live or the ecosystems they depend upon. So there's a lot of elements to, to the work of the Atlantic Salmon Federation, but the, the fundamental role is positively influencing government policy. So governments have the authority, the only authority to regulate 
uh, Atlantic salmon laws and, and policies. So uh, the Atlantic Salmon Federation bases all of its positions on the best available science. We do our own science. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's our ability to influence both provincial and federal uh, government laws and policies to better affect salmon conservation, restoration, fisheries management, fisheries protection. Uh, Atlantic salmon conservation is you know, maybe even ultra marathon. It, it's it been going on for 71 years and I'm sure it's going to be going on hopefully for, for another 71 years and beyond. Uh, ASF w was founded by uh, you know very far-sighted uh, salmon anglers of the day and the main issue of the day back in the, the late 40s, 50s, was commercial fishing in eastern Canada. So you had uh, all of the Atlantic provinces, Newfoundland, Labrador, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island had large commercial fisheries. And there was also the beginning of a commercial fishery at Greenland, which is the Atlantic salmon's high seas feeding grounds. And that was why the Atlantic Salmon Federation was first formed to bring those fisheries under control. And very successful. Um, the Atlantic salmon commercial fishery in eastern Canada has been shut down now since the uh, since the 90s, early 80s for some parts of the Maritimes, and, and, and 90s for the, the rest of the fishery. Wild Atlantic salmon, the total population in North America is in trouble. If you go back 40 or 50 years, there were about 2 million wild Atlantic salmon returning to 1,000 rivers in eastern Canada and, and New England. And the last couple of years, it's probably been around 500 to 600,000. So there's been a significant decrease over the last 40 or 50 years. North of the Miramichi, things are in pretty good to really good shape. South of the Miramichi, it, uh, it gets tough. Now, the further south you go, the more depressed or the more severe the declines. Uh, urbanization, road building, uh, intensive forestry, intensive agriculture, open net pen salmon farming. Uh, the further north you go, the further away you get from urbanization, the healthier our salmon rivers are. And, and, and also there's climate climate change, which is the 900-pound gorilla, which is having a bigger impact in the south, but is slowly creeping north as well. Today, the salmon have never been in more trouble than they are today, and the salmon has never needed more friends than they do today. Let's get back in the water, in hopes of getting one last look at these magnificent fish. Oh, I see one rise right there. You gonna rise? There he is, fish on. That was cool, he came up and chased it and I tapped it and he came up and ate it. That was awesome. It's nice when you can see him eat. The water's so clear that you can see him come up out of the deep. Oh, it's a good fish. That's a good fish, Woohoo! yeah. Dog, it's a good one. This fish is fresh. That's why we came all the way out here for. Middle of the wilderness. There he goes. Whoa, yeah, nice fish. He's going to do it again. That's a big fish. There he is. I hope he's hooked good. Oh, it's a bender. Come on, bender. That was beautiful. Here he goes. He's going to jump. There he is. Whoa, that's a big fish. Dude, I saw him come up, chase the fly. I popped it once and he ate it. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then for him to materialize into a, a big fish, you know. Get him up on the surface again. Oh, big fish. Come on, big fish. <laughs> this is everything of a nine weight. Right. This is all the nine weight you can throw at it without risking something. Somebody touch that leader so it's a caught fish. That's a caught fish over 25. All right. Woohoo! Digging that. Oh my God, this is the most awesome thing in the world. Look at how big that thing is. It's just massive. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Digging that. Oh my God, look at the size of that fish. That's a huge, huge Atlantic salmon. That thing is bright. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. It's just beautiful. Okay. Wow, that is a beautiful fish. Oh, wow, that thing is huge. Yeah, get a good hold of them. Got a good hold of them. Wow, look at that size of that fish. Keep her head in the water. But yeah, this is why we come <laughs> to Canada. Look at how bright that fish is. That's just beautiful. Wow. Let's get a measurement. Yep. 38. 38. Hold on, hold on. 40. 
40. Uh, there's a curve to the pitch. I'd call it a 41. 41. 21 and a half. That is a big fish, gentlemen. This is why we came here. <laughs> a beauty. All right, she's in pretty good shape. She's already kicking. I'm gonna let her go. She's already swimming. She's ready to go. Yeah, well, she, she's a beautiful hen. Put her pointer towards up river. Pointer up river. What do you think, girl? You ready to go? There she goes. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah! Yeah, that's why we came here. Good call on the change in the fly. That was the most amazing take. I don't know if you got to see that, but I swung through there. I saw that fish come up. He kind of chased it, stopped. I gave it a little tap tap, and he came up and ate it. And that was it. And that was just beautiful. Oh, us off the grid. Canada, Atlantic salmon, wild fish over 100 miles from the ocean. We're way off the grid. Woohoo! Yeah! John Haas, Haas Off The Grid, HaasOffTheGrid.com. Go check it out because it's got it going on. It's a little theme song for the show.